Community services is all about helping people stay at home for as long as possible, preventing them needing to go into hospital at all, and in some cases, enabling people to die at home. House Own Richmond is a fantastic place to work. So you have Richmond, which is um, quite an, an affluent borough, and then you have Hounslow, which is very diverse. And the two together are really, really interesting. So we provide the same type of services, but across two very different environments. You literally are walking into any challenge. There's so many different things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's diverse. To me, when you're caring for somebody, having the ability to talk to somebody, it builds that relationship. It just makes it so much more personal and it's really nice. I love I, the patient interaction. That's something. I'm a nurse by background, so that will never go. I love that. We're very non-medicalised, so there's very few doctors employed in the community trust. So we do get nurses who choose a career where they can actually design and develop a service themselves. I like the fact that I'm out there on my own and I make my own decisions. Um, I'm accountable for those decisions. It's up to you. You are leading that as a nurse or a therapist. They have a different relationship with their patients. You're caring for somebody in their own home. That's in itself. You know, if you compare that to hospitals, you have, you've got so many people around you and you've got so many uh, procedures to follow, you know, whereas in the patient home, like I said earlier, you're the, you're, you're the guest. You make a difference. I really, I, I can wholeheartedly, I put my hand on my heart and I say, you know, I'll go in. And especially if I'm, I'm on a visit and I'm making, um, do, doing an insulin. So it's a really quick visit. Nine times out of we ten, their insulin's kept in the, in the kitchen. So while I'm getting the insulin out of the fridge, I've put the kettle on. You meet people from different diverse community. So having the know-how, the knowledge in terms of the culture, it's very important to how we, we care for those individuals. Actually have time to build individual relationships with your patients. We go in there as, as nurses to care for the particular aspect, could be the wound, but we have, a, you know, we have a duty of care to look at it holistically. And somebody may have a physical health injury or wound which has not been healing, so that has an impact on the mental health. They may not be sleeping well, it makes them feel anxious, it makes them feel worried, so that obviously has an impact. Just coming away and knowing that I've left them feeling a little bit more comfortable than when I found them. Going in as a newly qualified nurse, obviously we all go through a transition period. They've eased me in, um, they haven't put me in any situation that I'm not competent with. You, you become confident and independent, really. You see patients on your own, you have a mentor, and you work with somebody until you're really confident that you are okay to do the work by yourself. And you've got to be compassionate. You know, always ask the question, would you like to be treated the way you just treated this patient? Or would you like your family or any, any member of your family to be treated this way? If yes, then carry on doing what you're doing. If not, then please just take a back seat and just reflect what can you do to do things better. We have really fantastic experienced clinicians in this trust. We have a huge amount of experience and knowledge. I have literally gained more skills and knowledge doing this job than I ever did in the whole three years. And anything that I don't know or I'm not competent in doing, there's a course for it. You know, or I have a whole team of nurses that I can ask questions to. You can turn up as a newly qualified nurse with no experience and within a year you'll have loads of experience, you will be well qualified in all aspects of the community. If the team are going out on visits, so I tend to spend time with them in uh, handovers, so I get an, uh, an understanding of what is going on with each of the patients that they've seen on a day-to-day -day basis. But also it's about getting the nurses to start thinking creatively. We're not working there on our own, we've got other services that we can refer patients to. Every view counts, because everybody brings something different. There's a really good um, system of mentorship and education and training. The learning and development is brilliant. Um, and you really get to do it. You see, some of the other trusts that I've worked for, they will really promote, yeah, we'll push you on this course, you can do this, you can do that, you can do the other. But when you get there, you have to do, you have to do some of it in your own time or it's only part funded or they'll fund it all and you have to do the whole thing in your own time using up precious annual leave. You get um, support um, from your colleagues, from your managers. I want the patients to have the best care that we can. And that's their aim. To do that sometime, you've got to tweak slightly, to release more time for them to care for the patient. There's not one fault 
in this job at all. And to see the team, you know, getting compliments from, from, the, from the patient, patient tell you, okay, we've done very well, uh, you know, thank you very much. And I think that goes a long way. All your hard work is, um, is recognised and it's noticed. That's really rewarding and fulfilling for me. Sum up my job in three words. Amazing, brilliant and fantastic. I want to say fun, but that makes it, um, that kind of dumbs it down. But on a day like this, cycling through the park to get to your patients, you can cycle your rounds and it's lovely. So you do find that there's some real dynamism here and the staff who work here really want to work here. They really believe in the ethos of the organisation. If you're considering changing jobs, give me a ring. Come for a day with me. Come and have a look for yourselves and I guarantee you'd want to stay. You know, it's, it's great. Nice little team we have. It's, it's work in progress, but I'm loving it here. <laughs> it really is an amazing job. I love it so much.